Hey guys, this is Dr. J, Rogue Vet, Entrepreneur Doctor. I'm talking to you about how I run multiple practices running a few hours a week and the tools that I use to do that, okay? This time, bad attitude. Man, I cannot tell you the number of times I would go into the office just dreading what I was gonna walk into. Just knowing that it's gonna be another day. Let's go, let's get the troops going, I'm just, right, how cool would it be if you could go into your office and just people are motivated? Maybe, because the reality is, is that every one of them, every one of us in our organization, we come in dealing with the different crap that we do. Sally had an argument with her husband. Bill is behind on his bills, okay? Everybody's, but how does that help us? See, we're business owners, and when, when the day starts, I need people to start, okay? So I can't have bad attitudes in my office. They're just killers, okay? What I need, it, alternatively, is stellar, very happy attitudes. I don't care if you're the grumpiest curmudgeon in the world, you need people who can do this if you have clients, okay? So, how do we do this, right? Here's the idea. Think back when you were little, you're a kid, and think about how much work you could get done if, you, if it was a game, if it was your choice. I can remember one time, me and a friend, we diverted a creek with shovels, took about six hours of hard work for the fun of it. No other reason, just because it was fun. We need to bring that element to the very beginning of the day. Before people, before clients come into our office, let's get people up. You ever, how about this? When you were little, you ever remember playing musical chairs? Just a silly, stupid game, right? You take one chair away, somebody's got to get to it, and you're rushing as fast as you can, and when you get there, what? everybody's laughing. Weird. Because it wasn't that way before, okay? What do we need to do? We want to get people there, here, at the office, ready to work, okay? We need to take everybody, all 20, 30, 10 people, dealing with 10, 20, 30 different problems, and get them here, okay? If you own a business, you know that's harder than I'm making it sound. How do we do that? How about this? I remember in college, we used to have, you know the little the basketball hoops and a little $1 basketball? You know how many hours we spent just throwing the ball to the door just because we didn't want to study? We wanted to do something fun, okay? What if you did this? What if you bought a $1.99 ball from Walmart and you stand around in a circle and everyone hits the ball back and forth? Like volleyball. We do that in my office. It wakes people up. Okay? You could actually, musical chairs, you could put five chairs out and have people run to the chairs as fast as they can. Believe it or not, that actually works. Okay? When you have people there, you know what you want to do? You want to talk about what you need to get done that day. Okay? This is when you have your sales meeting, okay? You walk in, everybody's getting there. You play the game. You get everybody sped up, okay? You take them to the schedule, you review what's expected, and you go about your day. You start the day off with a bang. How about this? How about when you come to work in the morning, you're excited about it. You're not spending all your time trying to get people to do their job, right? You get people to play a game and then tell them what is expected and then they can do it. So what do you do at the sales meeting? What if you, you know what we do? Sounds corny, but it works. You remember the game Candyland, okay? Remember the game Bingo? You can actually tie your sales To a game and right here you can if, if 
If your staff wants to go get pedicures and your sales line up to that, why not? Treat them out to dinner or a movie or something like that. You can play bingo. Fill out the board. Everybody wins. Client wins. Everybody's winning. These are just production games. They're production games. When, when your job gets serious, like the ditch that I dug, I would have never dug that if I had to. My parents told me that I needed to dig that ditch. No way. But if I do it because it's fun and the reward is a payoff, when I was a kid it was for fun. With your team, you want to pay off. You want to pay them off for busting their ass. They absolutely deserve it. So you tie yourselves to games, games, games. Do you know that when you do that, you can get a lot of shit done.